Yo, what up gamers? Today we're doing something special. A little bit of a challenge run. I'm gonna take theirs options and more options here so that we can have maximum- Oh my god, what a good start. Never mind. <laughs> Blessed by the curse room. Thank you so much. So that we can have options because what we're going to do today is every single time we are presented with two different items, two items that we can choose from, I have to take the worst item. This was a suggestion in the content suggestions channel of my Discord and I thought it was so fun. And so such a unique idea that I definitely want to take a part of it. I don't know if more options applies on this floor. Oh, it does? Uh, I mean, oh god. <laughs> I am playing Isaac, so I do have the D6. I get one freebie. I really, really want Contagion, but by definition, I need to take the D20. But I don't- Oh! I, I can't believe not only did I get a damage if I got a quality 4, but I can't do that. I have to take X-ray vision, and this is what we're doing. I get to re-roll, but when I'm all out of options at the end of the day, even if it's an active item, I need to take the worst item. It's gonna be ass, but it's also gonna be a fun challenge, so let's lock it in. Okay, dingle done. And what would you guys say is worse here? I would say the range up is worse because at least HP has value. You know, you can put that in the blood bank. You can use it on a devil room. So yeah, let's take this. I'm not going to alternate floors. That's the reason I gave myself both these option items because the other option is literally blind. I wouldn't be able to tell. I mean, it would be three items. So I guess you could say I could choose between the two items and then risk a third. But that's again, it's like a risk. It's not me actually choosing the worst item. So I don't really think that counts. Tinted rock in here with a bunch of pots. I don't think I've ever seen that before in my life. Four pots surrounding a tinted rock i that's actually the first for me you know for a bad item x-ray goggles is actually really good hopefully we can come across some single item pedestals that's our main goal r r r r because then i don't have to choose i can just take whatever i want if i just walk inside of a secret room oh you freaking suck <laughs> I could just walk inside of a secret room and there's a singular death certificate pedestal in there. I mean, that's the dream. It's less about Cursed Eye being bad because I can work with Cursed Eye. I've done Cursed Eye starts so many times in my life. Look, you can actually really work with this thing. I feel like when you've played enough like Eden starts, you, 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 you're you used to it, you know? Like, it's not the worst in the world. And honestly, it is a bit of a DPS up if you know how to use it. It's about the fact that I had to give up the Halo to get where I am today. What is this pill? Luck up, nice, black heart, that being said, I'm I'm being carried and I'm I'm happy with where we are. All right, let's go. X-ray goggles is the highest value thing we're probably gonna get on the entire run. Insanely lucky that we were able to get that. I do have a reroll available, so for the fun of it, I'll probably use that in the devil room and maybe invite the whole fine twisted pair. But you have to take uh, like Guppy's collar or something timeline. Like I'll, I'll I'll invite it. Sounds hilarious. Let's do it. You know, for a take the worst items run, my damage is really good. <laughs> Thank goodness. I do not want to be sitting here with like. 0.10 damage, negative tier rate. Probably shouldn't be taking pills then, but you know, I'm gonna do it. Oh, that really burns, man. Actually, I have a roll in the in the big room. Let me see if I want to roll this. I definitely don't want to take pound of flesh. So let's roll. Oh! oh my god. Okay. Thank goodness. I mean, Satanic is here. And I would say, I mean, I'm just saying, Satanic is a better item. It gives you infinite devil deals, infinite black hearts. It's quality four. This is quality three. So I would say by definition, this is worse. Thank God though, because it's really good. <laughs> and um, do I really want to risk a roll here? Honestly, box is solid. A box can be good. Uh, scent, key, pill. Double bomb, moon card, I guess. Um, I want to keep a chewed pen. We can go to the shop. I have enough coinage to do it. Same rules apply though. If there's two shop items and one of them is worse, then I'm just gonna have to take it. And one of them is worse. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait! Don't, don't make me take that. I, I want to keep my D6. Please, 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 please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Phew. Um, I'm gonna take the mom's coin purse. Speed up, full health. You know, it does suck that those two items showed up together, both PhD and mom's coin purse. Like what I wouldn't do to have them both at the exact same time, but I avoided the fate of me giving up my uh, D6 for a red candle. So best case scenario. Yo, what up gamers? Jablinski Games here, currently hiding under Lazy Matt Man's bed because I found the plushie and I really want it. And I think you should get it too. Also, uh, stay tuned for my new movie where I play as Bowser in the Mario movie. Give it here. Trying my best here to optimize. I'm not walking in that library, by the way. <laughs> While also keeping my D6 dreams alive. If I walk in that library, based on the self-imposed rules of the challenge, 
Oh, luck up. I'm just gonna have to take whatever's in there. Because I guarantee you, no book is better than the D6. If I come across a active item and I am unable to reroll, it's it's over, man. So I'm gonna reduce... Ow, whoopsies. The chances of me coming across any active items as much as possible. I'm not going in that library. Now that tears down really did burn. I can genuinely feel it. But at least for a damage, my damage stat is actually really good. A couple damage ups as well as succubus is sick and look at that the aoe damage is just um hopefully gonna carry me to the end if i find a magic mushroom oh could you imagine that's a single pedestal i don't have a choice i could just take it i'll just move on my dreams are dead but you know you gotta keep them alive never give up just do it damn that that is old <laughs> okay super secret room here these secret rooms have provided major value for us on this challenge so hopefully we can keep it up yeah, I mean, I needed keys actually, so that's really, that's pretty good. And I guess somehow, some way, uh, my treasure room and shop are both in that one room that I decided to skip because I decided to skip it because I thought that I, I don't know, I would get to the treasure room and shop faster. <laughs> Caught me by surprise, did you game? All right, you got me. Okay, here we go. Treasure. Oh, that burns, man. That actually burns Belly Jelly so insane. But I guess Iron Bar. I mean, I just talked about how Iron Bar is like, I, I'm never disappointed to take it as a damage up recently. I mean, when I'm taking it over Belly Jelly, I'll be disappointed. But, you know, what can you do? And here, Steam Sale, singular item on sale, ironically. Take it and then take the Soul Heart because that's on sale. That is an incredibly good shop. Again, not going to the library. I'm not going to explore it. I do have a roll. Let's uh, check out the the boss fistula the perfect boss for succubus go get him champ nice i would kill for a tears up right now ah yeah 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 this is a tears up but it's it's i mean it's literally better than experimental uh, even by definition of quality which i might start going by this can give me a tears up though oh yeah i'll take it i mean it's a tears up my damage did go down but uh, at least i got some value maybe i get spun i don't think so you kind of have to work for spun and if i'm not taking syringes in certain situations i don't see it happening caves those here we go my highest value items so far have to be x-ray and succubus they are probably Probably the only reason I'm getting any value on this run whatsoever otherwise I feel like I would uh, be a flopping fish on a deck Spongebob style like it would not be pretty ow that was bad <laughs> get me out of this hellhole what is this room what the hell binding of Isaac ranking up the heat I see super secret oh no item that would have been so sick nasty okay next treasure room we're on caves too so these rooms these floors are big enough to maybe oh no weren't a double roll if I roll right now oh my god could you imagine how crazy this run would be if I was just playing normally please don't be inactive I yeah 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 I guess I'll take spider baby. Ankh is a res, I would say it's better. What? <laughs> okay, um, I did get to have a secret room item, but it turned into a TM trainer item. But I mean, I don't have to take it. Just like how I would not have had to take uh, the astral projection that came before it, I would have rolled it. I gotta take it if, you know, we have no more rerolls. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen. I actually don't know what happens if you roll a, a glitched item. Doesn't it just become another glitched item? God damn it. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I'm either about to waste a roll or get that certificate and my life is saved. Yo, the health is getting kind of low. I don't like that. I love that. <gasps> but there's another item. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No way, man. Okay, I guess I have to roll. I, I mean, birthright, I I guess it doesn't matter too much. It wouldn't really help with this challenge specifically, but it, it's like the principle that it really hurts. There was a battery in there so I can use a roll on the shop so I don't have to take mom's bracelet and give up my D6 and also probably roll the secret room, see what works there. Highest priority though is definitely roll the shop. That way I don't, um, you know, substitute D6 for mom's bracelet because I don't really think that's a good trade deal whatsoever go ahead and explode uh eight ball hp these i would say are honestly on the same level but eight ball gives me less value because it's literally just shot speed maybe planetarium hp is more solid like it's you get hp you know there's no chance of it even doing something actually good so i'll take the eight ball cry about it oh actually there is a chance of it doing something good immediately but before we do that let's roll i need another roll i can't roll that secret room i cannot not take an active item right now okay 
Actually, I can't. <laughs> also, I'm broke, so maybe I can't. I'd love both of those items, actually. That sounds incredible. But the worst item is probably Mystery Gift. Because, again, same uh, concept as the, the Magic A Ball. There's a chance that it doesn't do something good for me. Where a Champion's Belt is literally like, yeah, it's going to be good. But in general, honestly, both those items are solid. Very good roll. I just don't have the cash for it anymore. I'm hoping I find some Moolah somewhere on the floor after I'm done here. Tropicamide is the pick. I'm really tired of taking the bad items, guys. It's hurting my soul. <laughs> Should I just take this then? I'm gonna take it. Uh, D U7. It looks like I just healed and it made a gurgle sound and the rest, I don't know. I don't know what it did. DM trainer items are interesting. Oh, nice arcade. I really need this because it's either incredibly obvious what you're getting or not at all. <laughs> okay, let's play this. We get a couple spot. Oh, thank you. Couple spiders, bit of money. Uh, I think it's definitely worth for me to burn into my soul hearts here. Get three more cents so I can buy also the mystery gift. And let's see. Let's see. Let's take you. Just just be that certificate. Uh, I mean, luck up's cool. No status effects as well. Yeah. All right. I'll take it. And champion's belt. And we could take D6 with us. You know, surprisingly, I don't really know how. But my luck stat is the strongest of uh, basically all of my stats. Which feels uh, very, very telling considering how good my items have been. <laughs> my I The items on this run have been nuts. Have you seen them? Like, what? Uh, too bad I can't take them. <laughs> Another luck up. Are you kidding me? All right. We'll get a bit more spiders here because I have a heart left in the boss room. And let's Let's go. Starting off, no treasure room, no shop next to me, planetarium chance locked in. TP, and I don't actually need to blow you up for a better deal chance, so I'll just take my free curse room by doing that. Drowsy pill is a free win. I'm probably gonna take this to the very end. Health up is incredible. I am so thankful that I have good pills on this run. Other than that tears down earlier, these pills are popping off, and I can really feel the damage up from Champion's Belt right now. Like, that is putting in work. Retro Vision, I'm sorry for your guys' eyes. It happens. Zodiac or mini mesh zodiac is a worse item i get gemini for the floor which is uh you know i mean i can't even tell you're gemini you just look like a floating butthole to me to be honest but <laughs> guys is there a reason i just got an all stats <laughs> what is it wait i'm gonna use mega isaac deduction skills here i think that there's no reason i should have gotten all stats up other than tm trainer so then we have to deduce what is tm trainer doing and there's only one item i know that gives that kind of small but very generous all stats up when your item is fully charged i think i got the light bulb trinket i mean we'll see if i use the d6 do my stats go back down or maybe they're permanent <gasps> maybe tm trainer made it so like i i whenever i fully charge an item i just get more stats up these are both quality one but one gives gives a uh, luck up and a soul heart. One just gives a luck up and a range up. So the choice is obvious here. Yikes, it hurts my soul. Hello, please don't be bad. Oh my God, both of these are incredibly good. <laughs> Can I just take both? I'm gonna, ah, I'm gonna take both. I'm probably gonna be really low HP, but they're on the same level. So I just wanna take them. I'm gonna take them. I think I'm really low now, but let's just not die. Forget me now. I might do that. Probably not. I'm more scared of the run than anything. I think getting out of the run as soon as possible is higher value than me staying, uh, especially with something like Cursed Eye. When you got Cursed Eye, I just want to leave, dude. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with the run like that. You could say I'm playing scared. Wow, thank you. But if you've ever been on the cathedral with like a really low damage, a Cursed Eye run, and you don't know what's going on, and you get TP to the ends of the earth, hello cousin, and then you lose because of Cursed Eye, then you know what I'm talking about. It's a real feeling, and I'm not about to introduce that feeling. Ansa's is nice. I guess I'll just use it. I can't believe we got a planetary. <laughs> what? Okay, cool. Hierophant here. Noise. Uh, wow, this is going incredibly good. What about the shop? Oh! I can't take it, except I can, because I actually uh, have enough money. Oh my god, Steam Sale. Take the worst item, except, you know, if you have enough ability to take both items, in which case, hell yeah. <laughs> Planetarium also seems really good for us, because uh, there's only going to be one item in there. I will take it, though, even if it's quote-unquote bad, like Mars. It's soul, so it's actually really good. And then, yeah, I think we're good. Yo, what if we did the take the worst items uh, run, but I only got good item? <laughs> Vault, to start us off. I don't know my health again, which is, like, really bad. 
I was hoping to know how much HP I have. Oh, can't be another steam sale. Well, it could have been, but uh, it's not. I appreciate the money, the coins, the gold. Remember when people used to call, what the hell, money gold? Like really early in the life cycle of Isaac? I know I did not just imagine that. I definitely walked in this curse room and I saw best friend as if this was like a creepy pasta. I'm not kidding. I saw him for like one frame as I was moving down. Are you still there? He's tiny. Why is he so small? I just got jump scared. I don't actually know what's happening anymore. Something spooky is happening with my game. You know, maybe when I'm playing super mega try hard Isaac, I just play faster in general. Cause like how the hell on the, I'm gonna take every bad item run. Am I almost gonna hit hard? <laughs> I do think I play faster when I'm try harding though, to be honest with you. Everyone's got their own Isaac playstyles. to be fair. No judgment. You play how you want. Treasure. Oh no! No! Well, I gotta roll, man, because I don't want to take metal plate. That's just, it hurts. Ah, I gotta take it. I gotta take it because it's such a good defensive item. One fourth chance to reflect a bullet. You know, it's not as good as something like infamy, which is, is a, like a 50-50. Or a belly jelly, which is just any damage, but it's... It's something. Yay. <laughs> Both these items I kind of want, mainly because I don't want to roll. Because if I roll, I might roll into an active and then I, uh, you know, I'm going to have to take it. I've been very lucky about the fact that I don't need to take actives. I've been very not lucky with the fact that I took restock and I realized that. Whoopsies. Okay. I know I'm going to lose my drowsy pill by doing this, but just don't be an active. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, doesn't reverse stars like give you two items? <laughs> Therefore, maybe I get like a worse item. Whatever. Voodoo head. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, you know, I might just be able to take both items with the reverse stars. Since the only items that really matter when it comes to, you know, choosing the items is um, specifically the treasure and the boss pool. I could just pop off and take both. Let's see though. Mom fight. Mom fight, done. So procs, I'd like to go negative today. And in here, it's only a singular item, but if I roll it and it's an active, I'm gonna have to take it. So let's be smart and just take it. I'm not I'm not risking nothing. I'm not risking nothing. If it turned into Necronomicon, I would have to take it. No. <laughs> okay, we can head sort of straight towards the boss thanks to Soul. I'm also gonna look for my secret rooms. I gotta remember that I have x-ray goggles, so don't bomb for secret rooms. If you just come across it, you do. I actually, you know what? I can't take the reverse stars because it makes it so you lose your last, uh, your first item. Item, and one of those items is the options item. Do the option items actually affect me in any way? No, not anymore. But I feel like I would be doing a, a bit of an injustice to the challenge if I did that. So let's just keep it. It's supposed to be challenging. So let's not just immediately rig the secret room. He says as he immediately rigs the secret room. Could you imagine a quarter that like spawns into death certificate? What a world to live in if that happened. <laughs> Dude, shout out to soul though. Oh my God. Immediate boss room. I'm actually going to be able to fight Hush. <laughs> Should I do it? You know, I'll do it. I mean, it's gonna be painful because I got cursed eye. That's gonna suck if I get TP'd out last second, but I think I can do it. No big deal. I've done worse. Sty or Placenta. Sty is a damage up. Placenta is HP regen. I have no HP to regen. And in here, I have to roll it. Please don't make me take it. Okay, okay, thank God. Thank God, dude. <laughs> so just so I know where I'm going, we can even determine, nice luck up, uh, if I can make it. I uh, will use the sun card. Can I make that in time? A minute and a half. Uh, yeah, I definitely can. I especially have like a secret room that I can skip through. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll fight Hush on the challenge run. Flex the Isaac muscles a little bit. Let's, uh, let's do it, man. Yeah, you see how I'm getting all stats up when I, my, like, D6 is charged? Is that permanent? That, that might be permanent. I haven't been paying attention. But if it was permanent, taking something like Jello, which charges once per room, might have been optimal. Because <laughs> then, you know, I just charge it once per room, I get all stats up like that. That would be a cool challenge idea, actually, as well. Um, let's just do it. We got 30 seconds. We could probably do this. Might also get a deal, so keep that in mind. We can't wally gag for too long. And I definitely cannot TP out. If I TP out, it's wraps, GG. So basically, what I'm saying is, don't get hit. Okay, don't get hit while charging Cursed Eye. There you go. Deal? No deal. Uh... Yeah, let's just go, man. You know, oh, I got Taurus on this. I did not expect the run where I gave up Ipecac Cricket's head to also make it to Hush, but here we are. I don't actually have flight, so uh, ladder's good. Uh, I gotta spend all of my money here, actually. Wait a second, the wooden nickel is here. Uh-oh, I probably have to roll here. I didn't even see that. Let me see. 
Oh god. Oh god. I'm I I actually have to give up my d6. I have to give it up. Oh my god. No way. This was such a bad floor. <laughs> okay. All right. We're d wow. That's actually worse. What's worse, remote detonator or unicorn stump? I'm thinking unicorn stump. That might actually be worse. Wooden nickel actually gives you stuff. So let's let's do something like this. I'll buy this. And wait a what? What? My stats keep going up, man. It's like whenever I'm holding the D6, it must be the full charge like light bulb thing that's happening. We roll. Of course, you would give me BFF. <laughs> Shoutouts to Succubus. That man is big, chugging the protein shakes. But of course, I also get school bag, which I can't take. That sucks. Oh well. But all of these are fine in comparison to Unicorn Stump. Yeah, womp womp. Okay, I definitely have light bulb trinket because I just used it to test it and my stats went back down. Okay, all right, so we lose the D6. It was only a matter of time. I'm honestly very lucky that we got that far without losing the D6. And our run is good enough to, to handle everything else, I believe. So let's just try fighting Hush. Uh, our health value is decent here. Not numero uno, but definitely up there. Let's bust out the Hush fight. Continue with the unicorn stump and make it to the dark room, hopefully. Should I use a reverse hang, man? When the hush babies come, I might do that for just a bunch of cash, even though that cash is pretty much useless. Actually, it's not. We got a shop. I could I could take the D6 back with me. I wouldn't do that. I would take the mommy box, because, so, you know, that's worse. There you go. There you go. Cash moolah. Dude, I became the richest man on earth within three seconds. Also, the triple shot is just really good for damage, huh? Oh, God, I got hit. Oh, my God. Thank you. God, I wasn't charging a shot there with Cursed Eye. Uh, dude, that was almost like the moment where you get hushed down to 1 HP and like you TP out. It almost happened in real time. That was, oh, I would have been so mad. <laughs> okay, light bulb procs. We have a bunch of cash now, which means I can take this and then take the worst item, which actually, uh, by definition, is the tier detonator. <laughs> um, and I can't take more options. All right, well, I got unicorn and tier detonator. Is it enough to beat the game? If I just beat Hush, I think so. I think we're good. No, D6, though, uh, does suck balls for real, for real. You know, the unicorn is actually really good here. Because I got that mom transformation, I have some form of contact damage. I just handled that entire room because of unicorn stum? Unicorn stum kind of nasty with it? Hold on, look at this go, dude. Look at me, okay, alright, unicorn stum, I see you. Not too shabby, don't have a d6, can't take advantage of you. Three, four, count to five because you have stopwatch. Actually, count to like seven, hello? Oh, you know why? It's because he's double slowed. So he's double mega slowed, so you gotta count to like 50. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that and noticed it as badly as I have just now. Look how slow this boss is. Mongo slow. Gongo slow. It's real. Dude, you take years to hit me. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, slowing does stack, so you can have broken stopwatch and stopwatch at the same time, and this happens. Not to mention the broken stopwatch slow is a lot more intense than regular, so, uh, we are- he's dead. He's dead! Okay, now just do that again on the lamb, and, uh, I think we'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Goat head. Ghost baby. Lil Brim. Or a Babylon. Which one of these is the worst item? Or I could just take all of them. Or as many as I feel like I can. Just to make it scary. You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> We're doing this. I also get conjoined from this. Uh, I guess I should have taken the goat head. Because that would have done nothing for me. Sorry. I got a little bit, you know, like OMG items everywhere. I'm so happy. But, you know, the point still stands. I've gone from like eight hearts to only two. So let's try not to die now. Also, if I get like two soul hearts, I will 100% just straight up take the goat head as well. I want to be as low HP as possible. As challenging as possible. It might just happen. Okay, we're one away. You know, I don't actually think uh, uh, no matter how much HP I would have had, I could die. Everything is always so slow. And this unicorn stump is insane. Look, dead. Immediately dead. Well, I think I just win. Suplex. I'm going to give up the unicorn stump because it's making things too easy. <laughs> uh, let's just try it, man. I, I just, I'm going to suplex the hell out of lamb. Go over here. Nice. Switch the tier detonator pop it and just wail on this guy oh goodness gracious me i have like no orbitals no defense other than like a metal oh shit <laughs> don't die man not this late dude suplex your ass onto the body <laughs> don't charge me i knew it i knew it you can just sense when the lamb is gonna charge you it's just a thing you just know oh 
We did it. We did it. Take the worst item is done. That was sick. That was fun. G, geez. Good suggestion.